Saturday, June 23, 2012. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and I'm in my 1995 Subaru Legacy. And I was actually uh, looking at the owner's manual today just to uh, get a couple of fluid specifications, and I found something that I never knew was in the car before. The original window sticker from when the car was sold, you know, back in uh, uh, probably sometime in 1995. And looks like the... Uh, the car was being sold for uh, $19,772, so it's, uh, okay, I'm going to start again because uh, some guys walked behind me rapping. Saturday, June 23, 2012, this is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1995 Subaru Legacy. I was looking in the owner's manual today to get a couple of fluid specifications, and I came across the original window sticker. Never knew this was in the car before, uh, but it was tucked in here with the folder with the owner's manual, along with the uh, business card of the salesman who originally sold the car. And looks like the original price was seventeen five hundred five plus options, which came to uh, nineteen seven seventy two. And uh, let's see what the options were here. The all-wheel drive active safety group. All-wheel drive, four-wheel ABS, uh, four-wheel disc brakes, cruise control. Safety system value, $3,000, but priced at $1,500. Then there was a $74 carpet set, which I'm guessing was the original floor mats. Style-toned pinstripe, which is the uh, beige pinstripe along the side of the car is actually identical to the one on the Project Legacy, right over there. Mud flaps for $86, and tailpipe extender, which is long gone, for $33. So, the car originally had uh, this warranty right here, and here's a description of the standard features, which I'm not going to read out to you because it's a lot of stuff here. Car was rated at 21 uh, city, 28 highway, and 28 highway seems to be roughly what I'm still getting. So, I guess the car is uh, still pretty much in tune. Estimated annual fuel cost 751, but I drive a lot more than that, and I'm sure I use a lot more than that in fuel. Plus, uh, actually, gas is a lot more expensive than it was in 1995. Hadn't thought of that. And it looks like maybe the car was sold at uh, Gesner's Foreign Car Sales in uh, Somerset, Massachusetts. So, or it could have been Subaru of Wakefield, as per the business card here. The guy originally sold the car, and I'm covering up the guy's name because uh, uh, probably doesn't want himself advertised. So. Um, that's all. Just thought that was a uh, neat thing to find in the car. Thanks for watching.